What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com. Welcome to another Music Millionaires exclusive, exclusive for you out there. The up and coming producer, artist producer, beginner producer. Hey, you might even be a, a vet in the game, but you can still learn something. I right? information is key, information is valid, information is the key to wealth. I just thought I should say that because not because it sounded cool, but because it's the truth. Information is valuable. Alright, so if you are coming from part one of this beginner's theory, you already seen how we utilize the stock instruments that's that ships with Persona Studio One. And right now we're on um, version 3.5.1 or point, point two. So if you're coming over from any DAW and you're working with uh, Persona Studio One, you're able to now do a lot. All right, so this is what we have so far. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some drums. I'm gonna start with the snare. That snare is kind of big. Small. Alright, so we're gonna record that. We ain't even gonna play around. We're gonna get right to it. You feel me? So I'm using my um my MPK mini controller. So you're not going to see that, but what I will do, I will pull up the edit window so you can see it. We got the snare drum laid down, snares laid the sound. Next, I'm gonna add the kick drum. We'll do the same thing at a project. Let's we'll see if this kick works. Wow, that kick is super big. Uh, 
not going to play around. We found it. We going to lay it down, you dig? So the um man, I gotta figure out what's going on with this this recording software because it's causing a delay, and I wasn't having these this problem before. So listen back though. See what I'm saying? Like it's bugging out. That's simple enough, nothing too crazy, kind of light. The next thing we're going to add is a hi hat. Let's find one that works. I like that. I'm going to mess with that. So. Let's see. Let's open up the bridge object so you can see. Zzz. Binge with that, I like that. I'm gonna keep it real simple. Um, let's find another one, another hi hat, open hi hat. It's kind of open. Right, we play no games, you know what I mean? We're gonna get right to it. Let's open up the project so y'all can see that. Now we got the the basis of the song. The next thing I'm gonna add is a percussion, a percussive sound. Let's see what I come up with. Let's see, right away, we don't play no games. If it sound good, you commit to it right away. That's how hits are made. Hold up. Let's open up that project so I can see. I'm I'm playing on my MIDI controller. But I'm opening up the project so y'all can see it. All right. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find an 808 sound. You know, cause we need the subs. It's the subs. Shout out to Craftmaster. It's the subs. Oh boy. All right. So before I get into all of that, the the, um, the 808. So when it comes to the 808, you wanna for it to be perfect. Nothing's perfect, but in order for it to work well with your sounds, you want to know the, the tuning of your 808. 
there are several different ways that you can go about getting the tuning but because we're working with persona studio one i'm gonna show you a trick it's not really a trick but it's a tool nonetheless that comes stock with studio one so it's called the tuner all right so right now i'm i'm clicking c3 you can see see this i'm clicking c3 from my midi controller the tuner is telling me c0 right so now what i do is and you want to know the tone of your, uh, your your 808 i went ahead and found that the the key tone of the 808 before i put it into studio one as you can see here it says c 808 and i already knew what what the uh the key was but i didn't know it was on c zero i would have naturally put it to c1 but it's on c0 so what you do is you hover over this line right here and if you have a, a, a mouse you hover over it till it says c0 c0 Clicking C3, man, that's annoying. I'm clicking C3, and you can see it's on C3. C2. that obnoxious bounce what you do is you push up the release knob well before you do that well there's there's really there's no other sound in here but you would put edit all push up the release knob and right here where it says monophonic you click that All right, so we know we were in the key of E so C D E I'm having too much fun y'all anyway play till I come up with something. Open up this project. Alright, so that 808 is a little bit too obnoxious, so what I'm going to do is, uh, where's that? I'm going to go back in here Pull the release knob back down. Pull it up a little bit more. Pull it more. Let's see how that play out.
maaf so I want to fix these that's off the grid a little bit So we're going to work with that. So there you have it. You got a track that you started from scratch using stock sounds. No, these drums are not stock sounds. So don't even ask in the comment section. But these drums, um, not drums, but this is how you would start off a track using stock sounds. Studio One. Let me see. I don't think it ships with uh, stock. What you call it? Um, impact. All right. Yeah. So Studio One ships with drum sounds. I don't use impact, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't have known, really. Looks like they got a lot of stuff in here. I need to get. I need to get with the business. <laughs> I need to get with the business. But um, I usually use sample one. I don't use um the, the impact. The sample one doesn't have stock sales in it, in it. I don't use impact at all. But this is where you would find some drum sounds. I might do a tutorial using using this impact um and it also has we give y'all a little a little behind the scenes it also comes with loops now this is if you bought your your um if you bought studio one legit like if you, if you cracked it you might not have gotten this but there's a loop section and it has drums so now you have hip-hop drums and there's audio files or they call it musical files which there's nothing in there video files audio files all right and it has tons of sounds in here like look i'm scrolling 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 and that's all drums, all right? And that's just in the hip hop folder, okay? That is just in the hip hop folder alone. They have the blues, there's country, there's dubstep, there's EDM, electronic, electro pop, folk, hip hop, house, jazz, minimal. Uh, it's too much in here, all right? So that's where your drum sounds, your one, I, I believe those are one shots. Those, are, that's where it would be. All right, so whew, that took a lot out of me to say. This is, I'm gonna close out for this uh, episode. Stay tuned and look forward to the next episode because we're gonna continue the series and we're gonna, um, we're gonna put this that we just did into a whole song, right? We're gonna complete this whole song for the beginners uh, series here on music tips music business tips part of me channel from music billionaires and BK Banger BKBangers.com alright so I'm gonna play it out from the top and close out so do remember that music is life it is our DNA keep banging peace Love and light. Till next time, y'all.
Peace, peace, peace.